my beautiful friends. I hope you're doing amazing. Today we're going to be doing a full face of Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, Hello, if you're new here, my name's Audrey. Thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing before you leave. I do makeup videos, tutorials, reviews, fun stuff like that. And let's get into it. Real quick, my sweatshirt um, it has this cute little... Oh, Embossing right here, and then a uh, cancer ribbon. Ooh, you see? Um, so this sweatshirt is from the Brothers Trust. This is Tom Holland and his brothers have a um, charity, and I purchased it through that on my coffee cup as well today. Oh, I love coffee cups, coffee cups, and sweatshirts, and makeup. <laughs> Those are my things. <laughs> um, so. I'll go ahead and link that Instagram down in the description box if you want to check that out and um, make a donation. They have really, really good um, items to purchase, and it's a really good cause. September is Child Cancer Awareness Month, and uh, that's what the sweatshirt's for. And yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there down in the description box. Go click on it, give it a look, all that. Okay, so I don't have anything on my face yet. This is bare-faced me. I have almost all of the categories from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and yeah, we're gonna just gonna get started. I'm gonna use as a primer the Dewy Set Setting Spray. I've had this for a long time. It's almost gone. I mean, it's nice. It smells good, but it's not uh, the <laughs> The sprayer is definitely um, pretty in your face. They've come out with a lot more, a lot better, finer mist sprayer since that one came out. It's been out for a long time. So there's a good base. Ish, got some acne going on. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I picked this up when Sephora had their 20% uh, off foundation sale because I wanted to film this video. And I've never tried this foundation and I've always been interested but never actually picked it up. I picked up the shade 220N. Luminous. Very exciting. Give it a shake. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and squirt a little bit of that onto my beauty blender we'll start with one pump see what happens yeah definitely gonna need two pumps <laughs> um i feel like this is so yellow i don't know what it is abh and their uh, <laughs> their undertones are so funny to me I feel like they definitely lean yellow. You know how everybody knows that NARS complexion products lean a little bit more yellow? Too Faced 2, I think. Anastasia Beverly Hills, I feel like definitely needs a lot more yellow. Leans yellow. Um, Cause uh, I always go for a light foundation with neutral undertones. I'm not as fair as I used to be, which is kind of funny. I feel like my skin's changed a little, but um, this is, this is looking yellow. I mean, it's not bad. We'll make it work. Okay, I really like the finish. I didn't used to like luminous foundations. I was definitely more of a fat, uh, matte foundation. I like it, I like the finish. I feel like with my uh, Charlotte Tilbury, it might be a little too much. My Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. But this, this is good, this is nice. Now for concealer, ooh. I picked up the shade six. This is the Magic Touch Concealer. Um, this is supposed to be a light neutral with, um, light with neutral undertones, <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's pretty dark for me, 
personally, I want to do a video where I compare concealers because it blows my mind. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that. Um, but it just blows my mind how, like, <laughs> light with neutral undertones, how, how can that look different? How, I, I know that, I mean, skin, oh my gosh, there's so many different undertones of people's skin and colors and shades. I mean, that's amazing. I think it's absolutely amazing how many different shades there are. But, like, I feel like the makeup people should get together. <laughs> Light with neutral undertones. Like, don't they talk? I feel like they should have big old meetings together and discuss. There's our base, pretty nice base. I haven't been using any powder, so I'm not gonna set it with powder. I'm gonna go in now with this. <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer in Sunkissed. I did a video comparing this to the Soul Body Bronzer, if you wanna check that out. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description box. <laughs> um, and this has a weird undertone. It's like super yellow <laughs> compared to what I usually go for. I mean, yep, we're gonna be, I mean, this bronzer feels like it's almost the color of my sweatshirt. It's a really great formula. I really do enjoy it. It's creamy and it blends out really well. It's just the undertone is weird. Weird. Now let's move on to something else. So, um, <laughs> how are you guys doing? I, I wanna do more chatty videos. I've been meaning to do a video um, talking all about my brother but um, I haven't got to it. I just have so many videos that I wanna do and that I haven't got done and I just, I don't have a lot of time. I have to make time with my three kids. So I just, <laughs> those are coming. <laughs> um, this is the Cream Blush Stick in Latte from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh my goodness, I love this. I love this. Um, I think the color is amazing. The formula is great. It's more of a matter stick blush. I have a, a lot that are like dewy. This is more on the matte side. The brush, I, I really like the brush. I don't mind it. It's, uh, it's very dense, very, very dense. The um, Makeup by Mario has that brush on the end and it's like, it's poofier, um, blends things. Just differently, I guess. Do you ever go in with blush and you're like, more blush, I need more blush. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Especially this blush. I just love the undertone of this. It's so neutral and light brownie pink. <laughs> my uh, my sister-in-law makes fun of me because I really like, I'm into that um brownie pink color right now for my lips and my eyeshadow and and just it's just what I'm into she's like oh that brownie pink color you like <laughs> yeah that so um we're gonna go in with the cream highlighter in bubbly this is my favorite cream highlighter um it's nice <laughs> I really prefer my Lisa Eldridge um that's my top top go-to right now but, um, this, I mean, it's there. We might go in with a powder just to give it a little more pizzazz. I'm a little extra when it comes to highlighter. <laughs> We're going to finish up the face before we move on to eyes. I have the bronzer, Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade Rosewood. And same deal, like... <laughs> They're <laughs> um, really pigmented. Their complexion products are just weirdly, mm, weirdly undertoned. Like, 
I remember when these bronzers came out, like people were, I mean, same thing with the cream bronzer. They're just like, it's weird. The undertones are weird. I feel like, I don't know who's testing their stuff, but they need some insight on undertones. <laughs> um, that makes me go a little bit less orange. So I'm enjoying that. <laughs> I think it's a good bronzer. It blends out well. It's just got a weird undertone. And for highlighter, I am going to go in with a little bit of the Iced Out Highlighter. On top of that cream bubbly, I usually layer up my creams and powders. Okay. For eyebrows, of course, Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrows, I have the Brow Wiz in the shade Chocolate. I don't think that this is the shade I would get now if I went in and purchased one. Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna call that good. Okay, for eyes, I have the um, Anastasia Belly Hills Eye Primer. This used to be my favorite. I need a drink of coffee. <laughs> Before I discovered Concrete Minerals and their amazing eyeshadow primer, this used to be my favorite. I, this does, this only comes in one shade. Like why? Oh, it's so nice. It's nice though, it really is. It cancels out everything. Okay, today I really wanted to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. <laughs> um, Pull it out of the woodworks. I used to love this so much. Um, I just did a video on my channel talking about my top five fall eyeshadow palettes. I'll go ahead and link that down in the description box. And this was one of them. And I want to use these burgundy colors. I haven't used these burgundies in so long. And I used to use this palette every day. Every day. Before I started my, uh, my YouTube channel. Every day. So... I'm gonna go ahead and go in with orange soda and burnt orange. Definitely mix these bad dogs together. I mean, always. I already asked you guys how you're doing. <laughs> um, leave me a comment down below. I, what are your favorite types of YouTube videos to watch? Like, um, I just want to know what you guys like, what any video recommendations you might have for me, um, what you like to see other creators do, what's your favorite? I wanna know. I always love answering that question for other people. You know, I love to tell people my favorite stuff. <laughs> so what's your favorite? I'm gonna go in with the same brush, Sienna and Rustic, mix them together. These eyeshadows are pigmented. I remember when Modern Renaissance came out. I have that one. <laughs> I had to have it. My favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette of all time is the Sultry palette. That's limited edition that I don't think you can get anymore. It's just so upsetting to me. I don't understand. Um, let's go in with some mulberry over here. Still using the same brush. I don't know if you guys can see. I forget to check. I film on my phone, so I don't have like a viewfinder or anything to make sure you guys are in focus. I'm going to use a little bit of a smaller brush and go in to Cypress Umber, that brown. Before I do the shimmer on the lid, I like to go into the lower lash line. So I'm going to use that brown that we used before. Just kind of do, I mean, the opposite of what I did earlier. Okay, and I definitely want to go in with the shade Sultry right here with my finger. Oh my goodness. So creamy. Oh, yeah. Are we feeling fall yet? <laughs> I'm going to go in. Mm -mm. 
Hmm. I really like fairy. I think I'm going to go in with the shade fairy just a little bit on the inner portion of my eye, inner corner type moment. Yas. Make it a little bit brighter. Hmm. <laughs> Yay! Okay. I didn't pick up any mascara from Anastasia Beverly Hills. They do sell one, but I just picked up two new mascaras to compare for you guys. Uh, stay tuned for that video. But I did pick up these, which I think is more fun anyway. Um, <laughs> these are the Anastasia Beverly Hills False Lashes. What's this shade? AVH Norvina Collection. This is the shade Dreamy. So... I'm going to go ahead and put these on. They're very, uh, <laughs> they're big. They, I'm used to my um, House of Lashes mini lashes. I'm probably going to have to cut quite a bit off of these. Dun, 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 dun. Hope you can see them. I mean, they are, they're intense. They're very sticky outy. Yeah, those are going to be really long. Let's see what happens. I am not going to bore you with that process. <laughs> I'm going to go put these on and I'll be right back. Okay, falsies are on. I, look at how much I had to cut off. Holy cow. Like, it's a lot. <laughs> um, those are big falsies. I think that they're really pretty. They're f definitely floofy. Like, I feel like I have feathers on my eyeballs. <laughs> um, they're super fun, though. I really like them. Okay, so lips is the last thing. And this bad dog. Oh, my goodness. Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick in Honey. I mean, look at how love this lipstick is. <laughs> it is just, it's, it's loved. It used to be my only lipstick. Isn't that funny to think about? It's funny for me to think about because now I have a lot of lipstick. <laughs> um, uh, I love this color though. Man, I mean, I feel like this color pairs with the soft glam palette like wonderfully. Wonderfully, wonderfully. That's definitely a matte lip. <laughs> and it will get dry fast. <laughs> um, these are not the most moisturizing formula, but they last really well. And they are kiss proof. So I just love that color. That color with the eyes, like, come on. <laughs> I do want to add a little bit of the lip gloss in butterscotch. This is really light for me. So I just add it in the center and just kind of blend it out. Give my lips a little bit of juiciness, a little bit of dimension. Mm -hmm. All right, let's set with some setting spray. That's definitely in your face. <laughs> That spray is woo. I used a little, a little bit. All right, that is my full face of Anastasia Beverly Hills makeup. What do you guys think? <laughs> Leave me a comment down below. What is your favorite product from Anastasia Beverly Hills? Are they a brand you like? Do you not like the brand? Let me know how you feel. <laughs> um, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. I'm making my eyes water. Honey. Let me finish.